Our invention is graphical user interface of the Monte Carlo simulation for the transportation of ammonia in industry. Inventor is me, Nor Hayati Rosli. I am from Center for Mathematical Sciences, University of Malaysia, Pahang. Our co-inventor, TS chemist Firas Fadila Muhammad Shafi'i, also chemist from Petronas Chemicals Ammonia Sunyam Berhad, Kertih Kemaman. Actually, ammonia, which is also known as anhydrous ammonia, has the following properties as given or indicated in this table. It consists of three atoms of hydrogen here and one atom of nitrogen. Due to the free of hydrogen, it is extremely soluble in water to form ammonium hydroxide. National Fire Protection Association and FPA, which is the standard for the identification of hazardous material and emergency response, has classified anhydrous ammonia under level 3 of health hazard. In fact, ammonia can enter our body through ingestion, inhalation, dermal and also endogenous. In Malaysia, there are incidents related to ammonia leak that was reported in August 2018. Malaysia industry at that time have been impacted from ammonia gas release and exposure. In August 2018, two workers died and 18 others were hurt after they were believed to have inhaled ammonia gas which leaked at an ice factory in section 36 Shah Alam. The injured had breathing difficulties, vomiting and eye irritation due to the high content of ammonia which was of 500 ppm compared with the normal reading 50 ppm and below. Permissible exposure limit and also exposure time of the ammonia has been set by the authorities. OSHA, the legal amount Permissible exposure limit is only 50 ppm average over 8 hour work shift. Meanwhile, NIOSH, the recommended airborne exposure limit, is only 25 ppm average over a 10 hour work shift and 35 ppm which is not to be exceeded during any 15 minutes work period. ACGIH, the threshold limit value that was set, is only 25 ppm average over an 8-hour work shift and 35 ppm as a short-term exposure limit. Therefore, prediction of the ammonia transportation completion time is important, hence incident happen can be avoided. The purpose of this invention is to measure the transportation time of the ammonia from lab to ship using Monte Carlo simulation. And this Monte Carlo simulation was coded and transformed into graphical user interface so that it can be used by layman people. It is aimed to predict the transportation period of the ammonia in petrochemical industry. What we develop here is ammonia transportation completion time simulator because we know handling ammonia is complex due to the toxicity of the ammonia. Also, incident happened that was killed two workers. We hope that it can minimize risks after this. The completion time duration of the ammonia transportation from laboratory to ship need to be simulated and predicted. Thus, analysts can identify a specified time frame for ammonia transportation and prevent any product demolish. Monte Carlo simulation has been identified as well developed method for this purpose. But tools to perform this prediction is yet to be developed. So the algorithm of MCS needs to be transformed into graphical user interface, hence applicable for the lemon and industry people. The invention here is GUI Monte Carlo simulator to measure the completion time of the ammonia for petrochemicals industries. It starts with the algorithm of generating random number based on the historical data from chemical Petronas Kerti. Two types of distribution has been identified which are uniform distribution and beta per distribution. All this procedure has been transformed into GUI code in Visual Basic Application. Then, the algorithm of Monte Carlo simulation, which is here we have five steps. The first one is establish probability distribution from the data collected at Petronas Chemical Ammonia Sendian Berhad. And then we need to compute the cumulative distribution of each variable. And then we set random number intervals for each variable generated. We perform the simulation up to 3000 iteration. 
of the experiment by selecting random numbers from random numbers tables and then we examine the result and validate the model and all this we have transformed into graphical user interface as indicated here in this graphical user interface we have user input part that is from plan to lab the user need to input minimum duration and maximum duration of the time and then from lab to tank the user need to input three variables here that is minimum duration most frequent time and also maximum duration of the time and then from tank to ship the user need to input minimum duration time and also maximum duration time and then monte carlo simulation for the ammonia transportation can be generated by click this simulator once the user click this monte carlo simulation of the ammonia transportation the following result will be appear so we can see here the transportation of ammonia from plant to lab is uniformly distributed with minimum duration is 0.8 hour this one and maximum duration is one hour and then the transportation of ammonia from lab to tank is beta per distribution which is given by this figure and then its minimum duration is 5.5 hours and most frequently happen it, it is 5.8 hours and the maximum duration is 6.9 hours and then the transportation of the ammonia which is from tank to ship is uniformly distributed with minimum duration here is 0 0.8 hour and maximum duration is one hour based on the result we can compute the distribution of the completion time for ammonia transportation the prediction duration time for ammonia transportation is beta per distributed as indicated in this figure with minimum hour is 7.2 the most likely occur is 7.8 and the transportation of the ammonia can take up to the maximum duration of 8.9 hours and if we see in this figure 70 percent of the time the completion time is less than eight hours it means that there is 30 percent of the time the completion time is greater than eight hours under osh regulation one personnel can only be exposed to an ammonia for a maximum duration of eight hours so in this case action may need to be taken to reduce the exposure time hence can reduce heart risk with regards to the ammonia exposure originality and applicability of this invention in terms of originality random number generating algorithm is coded in visual basic application and then monte carlo algorithm for the ammonia transportation completion time simulator also has been coded in visual basic application to form graphical user interface for the completion time prediction of the ammonia transportation in this case it can be used by layman people or also industrial people in terms of applicability this product applicable for petrochemical industries to predict the duration time of ammonia or also other chemical substances transportation it is significant to the personnel means that we can minimize exposure to ammonia and reduce heart risk it is also significant to the company shipment schedule can be arranged for chemical substances and also the company can prepare all the mitigation measure to comply with osh regulations the status of this invention the product is ready to be used it is sustainable and can be adopted for other types of the chemical substance transportation in terms of market comparison there is no similar product in malaysia hence market comparison in malaysia cannot be made however cost estimate is around 5000 malaysia ringgit which include labor costs maintenance costs and also data storage costs TRL level for this product is level 6 which is under technology demonstration and in terms of usefulness and environment impact it can help industries in the protective measure of minimizing the impact to the personnel company and also environment due to the exposure to the ammonia in terms of commercializability is commercialized for petrochemical industry and also for occupational safety and health administration we have industrial collaborator here with TS Chemist Virus Fadila Muhammad Shafi'i from Petronas Chemical Ammonia Sendian Berhad and this methodology has been published in AIP conference proceeding which is indexed by Scopus. With that, thank you.